street food is enjoying a revival around the world, and the Israeli street is packed with mouth-watering morsels. We went to Jaffa, where dozens of inexpensive eateries line the streets, to sample Israel's famous curbside cuisine. The unofficial national dish is the falafel, a mixture of mashed chickpeas, fava beans and herbs, all deep fried in oil. It's filling, it's delicious, it's crispy, it's very, very cheap and I think generations of Israelis grew up eating falafel. Every neighborhood would have, you know, neighborhood falafel joint. Today, falafel has tough competition on the street. Like from shawarma, slices of turkey, chicken or lamb shaved off a huge slab of meat rotating on a big spit. Stuff it into a pita with salad, hummus and tahini and bon appetit. Or go for the hummus alone. Israelis love this spread made of crushed chickpeas, tahini sauce, lemon, olive oil, salt and garlic. Want to eat like a local? Take a chunk of pita bread and wipe the hummus straight into your mouth. Or try sabif, a pita sandwich made of fried eggplant, hard-boiled egg, salad and a mango pickle known as amba. And then there's shakshuka. No one does it better than Dr. Shakshuka. A legend in the Jaffa marketplace, come here for this pan-fried casserole of poached eggs and spicy tomato sauce. Avira tova, ochel tov, ve mechir kabir. Ve shlosh tadvarim ayle yachad, ve menatver. Our lip-smacking adventure continues to this mob of people at the Abu Lafia bakery. Day or night, this is the place to buy all kinds of breads and dough goodness. There's also barekas, a dough-baked stuffed pocket of yumminess. The shape of the bareka tells you what's inside. Triangle mushroom, rectangle potato, swirl spinach, half-moon cheese. While eating on the street is a quick way to catch a bite, the fair here is the complete opposite to fast food. I think fast food, which is a very, very American concept, was um, invented, was developed as a part of development of highways and of driving culture. And it's uh, always commercial. It's made you know, the huge um, industrial place. It's factory-made food, whereas true street food is made on the premises. It's fresh and it's usually authentic. Sweet tooth devotees should try Malabi, a milk pudding flavored with rose water and topped with coconut and chopped peanuts. Or Kirtosh, the latest darling of the Israeli street. It's a Hungarian cake that has undergone an Israeli makeover. Take extra thin dough, wrap it around skewers, bake and then caramelize with chocolate, halva or vanilla toppings. If there's a problem with street food, it's that there are endless combinations waiting to be tasted. And though street cuisine has always had its place in society, its popularity is now reaching new heights. As is said in Hebrew, or good appetite.